I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to be making our own salt-free lemon pepper and herb blend just in time for our summer barbecue season. We're going to be making a lemon pepper and herb chicken for dinner tonight so I needed to whip this up quick and easy using seasonings that I already had on hand to come together to make a super blend that you can reach for anytime. This is perfect for grilled meats, fish, vegetables, just about anything that you're going to be putting on the grill this summer. So let's go see how we put this all together. All right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go over all of the ingredients for our salt-free lemon pepper and herb blend. And you may have many of these in your spice cupboard already. And this is just a different way of making a lemon pepper blend at home using what you have on hand and you avoid a lot of the artificial stuff that you might find in a lemon pepper that you buy in the grocery store because I was having a look at some of them they all have artificial um, color and a, a lot of them have artificial color that makes them look this really garish yellow color and a lot of them don't have any lemon at all in them they have citric acid which is natural and is fine and it will give you the illusion that there's lemon in there but there really isn't it's just it's just tangy and citric acid isn't from citrus at all it's from corn so we want to make this as pure as we can and this is how we're going to do it i have one quarter cup of a peppercorn blend you can use all black peppercorns if that's all you have on hand i like the peppercorn blend it's got red white green and black peppercorns Sometimes you find it where it has a little bit of allspice in it and a little bit of coriander. That's a nice blend as well. So this is four tablespoons. I have one teaspoon of red pepper flake, and you can leave that out if you so choose. I have two teaspoons of garlic. This is just dried minced garlic. I have about four tablespoons. Uh, actually, this is, this is two tablespoons of, this is dried onion out of my food storage. If you just have dried onion flakes, you can use a couple to three tablespoons. You adjust it to where your preference for t the taste is. Down here I have one quarter cup, which is an equal part portion to the peppercorns, of dried lemon granules or dried lemon peel or dried lemon zest. I buy this from thespicebarn.com. You can also find dried lemon peel in the spice aisle. McCormick makes it, comes in a little jar, but if you really want good bang for your buck, go ahead and get it from the Spice Barn. It comes fairly quickly, and it's not that expensive. Here we have two tablespoons of the True Lemon uh, Lemon Crystals. This is the lemon juice powder. So now we have all lemon in our lemon pepper. I'm going to be using a tablespoon of ground celery seed. And the reason I use ground in this is because when we put it in the food processor, those little celery seeds have a tendency to not want to grind up at all, and I want them ground up. I have a quarter of a cup of dried parsley, two tablespoons of dried oregano, one tablespoon of dried thyme, and two tablespoons of dried basil. That's what makes our salt-free lemon pepper and herb blend. Salt-free, I think, is the way to go because then everyone can salt as they choose while they're cooking. The way this differs from the other herb blends uh, or spice blends that we've done in the past is I'm actually going to go ahead and grind this up because I've used a lot of uh, whole spices here, the garlic, the, the onion, the whole peppercorn. We wanna make sure that this all gets nicely ground up. And the benefit of doing it on the parchment paper is that we can just go ahead and pick this right on up, transfer it over, and dump it right on in to our little mini chopper. Now I'm just gonna give this a whirl and we're gonna have a really nice lemon pepper and herb blend. All right, we're all blended up. Now I did actually have to stop and divide this up because I had a lot going on for my little chopper here. You can use a regular food processor. You can use a coffee grinder, which I do have, but I just didn't get it out today. So that's easy and maybe some of your peppercorns got cracked maybe some of them didn't totally don't want i'm not going for like total totally pulverized yeah. here but no they did because you can smell it yeah it smells amazing it tastes amazing mm. 
That's good. This is going to be lovely for grilling season or just about anything else. It's going to be great on steam. There's more proof that the peppers got chopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great on your sheet pan dinners and just about anything else you can think of. I'm going to be making a lemon pepper chicken for dinner tonight, and I'm going to be using this on that recipe. So we will definitely be making a video on how to make our lemon pepper chicken. It's really quick and easy, and it's delicious. So that is what it looks like. Easy, salt-free lemon pepper and herb seasoning. Um, if you don't have some of the things that I put in there, I wouldn't sweat it. Make your own blend. I'll leave a link down below so you can find the lemon peel granules from the Spice Barn. And um, yeah, maybe you'll pick some up and you'll be able to make this for yourself. And I do hope that you like this video today. And if you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we make and post here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this lemon pepper and herb seasoning a try, and I hope you love it because I know you will because it's summer is on its way, and lemon pepper just screams summer to me. So I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya. I'm going to go ahead and begin creaming this, and you're going to want to cream it until it's light and fluffy, and it may take up to five minutes for that to happen.